Hello, this is Mark Keen from Keen Engineering. I'm here to give you some updates on our 210 dry washer. This should be about our 20th some odd testing on the machine, and I'm really happy to say that we've got the machine dialed in. The vibrators, the uh, vibrating shaker deck screen, the recovery is off the charts. I'm extremely pleased with all the performance of the machine. Right now we're just doing some fine tuning on logistical things like getting a proper feed system. A smooth, clean, consistent flow of material is extremely critical for this dry washer. If you want to optimize your fine gold recovery, you want to optimize your higher volumes of yardage, it's extremely important. Now you can see here we've been working on a new hopper design. We've changed the Grizzly design, we've added some vibrators into the unit, and we still got a couple more tricks we got to do, but overall we had the machine working incredibly well. In this picture here, we're actually doing some testing on our large rock crusher, the RC812. We don't normally bring this thing out to test, but since we had heavy equipment, we were able to load it and unload it off the trailer. And we basically put it through the ringers. We kept feeding this thing tons and tons of gravel, and it was pretty much unstoppable. So I'm looking forward to continuing uh, working with this big crusher. Hopefully have this out in the market available soon too, but it's a... Uh, Got a little work on it, and we got other priorities such as getting the, uh, the dry washer working. In this shot, you can see us taking a one yard bucket that's totally full, dumping it into the hopper, and we were able to dump this bucket about every five to eight minutes. So we were definitely hitting our goal of about eight cubic yards per hour. It was really hounding the material with no problem. Now, what's interesting, we redesigned the actual Grizzly bars itself, and we made a huge difference. But probably the biggest change was is we actually put on a powerful vibrator on the back and we had very few rocks hanging up on the Grizzly which I was really impressed. You can see here the stuff just goes right through it and very little uh, you know, rocks are getting stuck. In this shot you can see the material traveling up the conveyor belt. You can see the uh, vibratory classifier screen really working well underneath it. I mean, it's, you're getting no sand off the end, end of that screen. It's all just clean, oversized gravel. And here's just a few more shots of this uh, feeding into the hopper. In this shot, you see a conveyor belt that goes under the dry washer and shoots out the other side. Now what we have the, on top is we have our vibratory classifier screen. We're running a quarter inch classifier screen. So everything quarter inch up to about an inch and an eighth, inch and a half drops down through that metal circular chute there onto the conveyor belt. Now the conveyor belt shoots out the other side of the dry washer. So we're actually mixing our, let's say, one and a half inch to quarter inch material in with our tailings and then what most time we'll do beyond that is we'll have another conveyor belt which we'll call typically a stacker belt and we'll shoot that out let's say 10 feet maybe I should say closer to 20 feet away and up 10 feet in the air so you can have these giant tailing piles because the last thing you need to do is get yourself buried in tailings. Um, by the way the machine is pretty noisy we all had to wear ear protection um, hard hats most of the time so there are a lot of safety things you have to do when you're running the machine. And if you hear that constant um, kind of like crushing noise in the back, that's because we're running the big crusher pretty much at the same time. We have a couple guys stacking boulders on it, uh, and we're just crushing, you know, one rock after another. So that's what that constant <laughs> sound is. That's the big uh, 812 crusher. But again here, we're just showing, dumping some more dirt on it. And uh, we got, you know, put some better sides on it, a little wider hopper like I mentioned earlier. But the nice things were getting a relatively good flow of material and the rocks were going through it. And we were just real happy with the overall performance. And we were getting the yards through it. And that's really the main thing. And the recovery was incredible. In this shot, you can see the material coming out of the dry wash. You'll notice there's not a lot of dust coming up the back side. You see a lot of dust blowing around, but 
in the video we had winds of probably 20 to about 40 knots it was not a pleasant day but look at that clean double line that shows you both riffle trays are being loaded evenly and look at that material coming off I mean we're talking serious yardage in this shot we're actually looking at the inside of the box now if you look closely you see in the upper portion of it you see the scrubbing pins that gives you a nice even distribution of material it also gives you one last chance to break up any conglomerate or dirt clots or whatever but you'll notice that we have a lot of material passing through the riffle boards and you have a nice smooth even flow of material you can't see it very well so you have to really study it close but you can see a nice even riffle action you can see an even air distribution this thing is just working like a champ and we're pounding material through it you just saw the tailings coming out of it so you can get an idea of the kind of volume and capacity this machine has at this stage we're basically ready to go to market we've got the, the dry washers the vibrators the lower vibrators the power packs the blowers pretty much everything ready to go and we'll be hitting the market hopefully within the next 30 days or so but I'm really happy with the overall performance. It's going to be a little longer before we offer like the feed hopper and a few other things like that. We've got to go out and do a few more tests on that. Hopefully the next time you hear from me we'll be out at a good gold location we'll be making money with this thing because we're not just building this just for the consumers. We're building this for me and my brother and a couple of friends like Bob and Barry. We want to go out and make money. We're no different from the customers. We first build it for ourselves and then once we're happy with it then we offer it to the, to the public. So we're all really excited and anybody gets this thing should be super excited as well. So stay tuned for further updates.